Welcome everybody to my channel, Learning English with Flor. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you can stay updated on the latest English lessons on this channel. Come on guys, let's be honest. It's not always easy to keep it professional when you are talking about something that you're very passionate about or you have a very different idea and opinion. Transfer, transfer. Okay, transfer. you two in the conference room with me. Nobody leaves until we work this out. Cage match. But how do we say we agree and disagree in a professional, polite way? That is one of the differences with business English and regular English. We tend to be more diplomatic, more polite in business English. So today I'm gonna to share with you some phrases that you can take away and use when you agree or disagree. To get started on this lesson, I'm going to share a statement with you. Do you agree or disagree with the statement? English is an easy language to learn. Do you agree or disagree? This is a way to say, I agree. So aside from just saying, I agree, a more professional way to say the same thing is, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. How about another phrase? If you strongly agree with somebody, you can say, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You could also replace the right with another word. You can also say, you're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. When I say, you're absolutely right, or you're absolutely correct, do you notice how I say the word absolutely? Because I want to show that I also agree with that opinion 100%, I actually emphasize the word absolutely. You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely right. So right now, one of the topics that different companies, depending where you work and who you work for, they're discussing this idea of remote work. If possible, many people are preferring to work remotely or at home to make sure that we stay safe during this pandemic. So what do you think about this topic? Do you agree or disagree? Employees should work remotely if possible during the pandemic. Employees should work remotely if possible during the pandemic. Write in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. For this next way to agree, it's really important on the tone that you're using. So this is how you would say this. You can say that again. You can say that again. I know English is weird. Why did you do that? I emphasize the word that, and that is really replacing the what is your opinion about. If you said that a hundred times, I would agree with you still. It's a strong way to say that you agree. All right, so here's another statement. Companies should look at prospective employees' social media before hiring them. Oh, I think I, I triggered some people here. Do you think that companies should look at your social media before deciding to hire you? I'm pretty sure some of them already do that. Hmm. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Okay, I guess I see why some companies do that. Here's another way to say I agree. You may have a point there. You may have a point there. Sometimes you might hear that statement without the may, without the modal. And people can say, 
you have a point there. You have a point there. There's a difference in how strong or weak your agreement is. So keep that in mind. You may have a point there. If you partially agree, meaning we don't always agree 100%, but I kind of agree with you. Informally, I'm saying, yeah, kind of. But in a professional setting, you could say this. I see what you're saying. However, I feel a little bit different about this. Or in this case, I see what you're saying, but sometimes employees feel like it's invading their privacy too much. I don't know. Do you agree or disagree? All right, guys, the part that you're waiting for, how do I disagree in a professional way? So you do come across times in a professional setting where you just don't agree with the other people. So how do you express that? The key is to use polite language. So here's the first one. Instead of saying, I disagree, I flat out disagree, then try this. I respectfully disagree. Try to mimic how I say it. I respectfully disagree. I respectfully disagree. Here's another statement. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Money is more important than love. Whoa, hold up there. I, I completely disagree with that. What do you think? Is money more important than love? Share in the comment section if you know how to agree or disagree in your own way. So for this one, I'm gonna have to share my opinion on this and disagree. I'm sorry, but I have to disagree with you on this. I'm sorry, but I have to disagree with you on this. Okay guys, tell me in the comment section, what is your opinion about this? Another way to disagree is using this statement right here. I'm afraid I disagree. I'm afraid I disagree. No, this doesn't mean you're afraid as in scared. You know that afraid is another word for scared, but this doesn't mean you're scared. It is just a more polite way to sound. I'm afraid I disagree. Try it. Say it yourself. I'm afraid I disagree. Let me share with you just a couple more ways to disagree. You can say, well, that's not always true, actually, and bring up your own rebuttal. Rebuttal is just another word for your opinion, which might be contradictory. And the last one, that's not always the case. That's not always the case. So going back, do companies actually check your social media even after you're hired? If I happen to work in HR and know that's not true for my company, I could say, that's not always the case. So ending this lesson, of course, these are not the only ways to agree or disagree. Share in the comment section below if you have a different way to express agreement or disagreement. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out in the comment section. I've also linked my social media in the description box and you can find that in any video that I've created. Check out some of these other videos that I have. If you're interested in more topics on this specifically, Business English, then look at the playlist that I have provided for you. Let me know what other topics you would like to cover. I appreciate everybody checking into this channel. I hope you have a great week. And again, make sure if you haven't, please subscribe, share this video with your friends in your social media if you think that this might be helpful for someone else. Have a great week, everybody. Take care.
Till next time.